So let me start by dispelling some of the myths about how long bots will last before requiring a recharge. The Tesla bot, for example, is designed to work for eight hours on a single charge. The average power consumption is estimated to be around 250 to 300 watts, which is more than enough to power the bot from full charge to almost 0% power consumption in just eight hours. The energy will be consumed by the actuators. It is known that the Optimus actuators are quite powerful. You can see that the hamstring actuator in the bot's leg is powerful. Enough to raise a grand piano in a video that Tesla posted a little over a year ago, around AI Day 2. It's a quite stunning film. Did you ever stop to think about what powers Tesla's incredible technological capabilities? Today, we're connecting to the energizing the trade secrets for maintaining the peak performance of Tesla's revolutionary product discover the secrets of keeping Tesla's bot powered up and ready to go, from induction charging to battery swapping. But before we get into that, let's take a peek under the hood. We'll look at the innovations and challenges that are shaping the future of Tesla's bot and how they could revolutionize. Industries all over the world. Get ready for an exciting adventure as we explore the state-of-the-art technologies that will propel Tesla's next major advancement. It's time to get your mind blown and your curiosity piqued because we have Dr. Scott Walter, a well-known expert on Tesla bots, here today to dispel all of your fears and misconceptions. But before we dive in, we have a favor to ask of you. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, Market Talks. Thank you. Skeptics are still worried about the Tesla bot's strength and endurance, so let's tackle their concerns directly. Tesla has recently released a new video showing the bot without its protective gear. Many have assumed that the Tesla bot can only run for approximately an hour before requiring a recharge, however, Dr. Walter confirms with certainty that this is not the case. According to Dr. Walter, the bot can run at peak performance for more than four hours on a single charge from the battery pack. However, when considering the bot's average power consumption, it is designed to work efficiently for an eight-hour shift. Dr. Walter dismisses concerns about the computational demands of the job, likening the computing requirements of the bot to a laptop because it doesn't have to deal with things like video streaming or email. Optimus's computing system is simplified and tuned for. Efficiency unlike laptops. This tailored system guarantees low power usage showcasing the incredible actuators of the robot as the conversation progresses, Dr. Walter cites a shocking video that Tesla published showcasing these actuators. He says they are so powerful that they can easily move a half-ton grand piano, and the energy required is shockingly low at only 183 watts, which is equivalent to a few of light bulbs. Scientist Dr. Walter explains how the bot's powers are based on physical principles. The bot's ability to efficiently lift large items is based on basic concepts of motion and force, as he explains. When you take into account the energy density of the bot's battery pack, it becomes evident that the Tesla bot can handle difficult tasks with ease, resolving worries about battery size. Doctor, Walter confirms that the bot's battery pack, albeit smaller than a Tesla Model E's, is powerful enough to power it for long periods of time. It can lift that grand piano for 12 hours straight or travel 10 miles on the highway. Now, let's delve into the weighty subject of the Tesla bot. Have you ever thought about how heavy a car is? It weighs around 3,000 to 4,000 LB. Now, compare that to the battery pack, which only accounts for about 1,000 LB. However, things change drastically when it comes to Optimus. The batteries in the Tesla bot weigh no more than 10 kg. Although Optimus claims to be, as Dr. Walter points out, similar skepticism once surrounded electric semis, but that didn't happen. Other humanoid robot vendors boast about how long Optimus can go on smaller battery packs, which gives people faith in his abilities. Even though he's power-hungry, it takes less energy to lift a grand piano than two light bulbs. The human body is capable of successfully doing strenuous activities, and although the Tesla bot's battery pack is smaller than a model-wise, now that we've established its ideal use, we can discuss how it delivers power sparingly. The latest video features the Tesla bot standing with its armor removed. Some may view this as a bold move, but Dr. Walter sees it as a sign of confidence and a testament to the bot's stability and precision in motion. The motion capture dots aren't just for show, they help collect data and fine tune the bot's movements. Plus, the bot's slimmer design is evident, highlighting Tesla's commitment to efficiency. Now let's talk about the walking speed. Doctor. Walter predicts a little drop from the last version, which could indicate a change in the walking algorithms. 
Nonetheless, viewers need not be concerned, as this tweak probably heralds even more advancements in the future after all. Taking off the bot's armor exposes more than just its sleek form. As the Tesla bot continues to refine itself, it becomes more market-ready a testament to the company's relentless quest of perfection and doctor. Walter points out the clean wiring layout, debunking any notions of chaos hiding beneath the surface. However, the true revelation is in the bot's hips. Slight variations in hip movement between iterations, as pointed out by Dr. Walter, suggest improvements in neural network training this newly discovered sway. Improves both balance and motion efficiency. Making way for motions that are less jarring and more organic reviewing designs of joints while information about the elbow mechanism is still scarce, Dr. Walter notes few alterations, suggesting an emphasis on improvement rather than overhaul. Now that we're focusing on the motion capture setup, Doctor, Walter is still hell-bent on finding any little changes. Doctor, Walter elaborates on its critical function in tracking reflective markers, which train the bot's neural network. With precision, Tesla can adjust the bot's motions, a critical step in developing end-to-end -end neural network capabilities. Just wondering what's. The maximum amount of hours a bot can work in a day without sacrificing output? Walter already demonstrated in an earlier post that the bot can function with a 16-hour workday using only conventional break timings and no elaborate charging configurations. By coordinating bot charging with human breaks, Dr. Walter proposes a method to keep the production line running smoothly and with minimal interruptions by making use of existing break schedules. Dr. Walter shows that a 16-hour workweek is doable with plenty of leeway, but what about taking it to the next level? Changing to a three-shift paradigm is not only feasible, but also pleasantly attainable, according to Dr. Walter's scenario analysis, which takes charging, infrastructure, and battery cycling into account. This is true even under the most extreme circumstances, where a 20-hour workday is required. Dr. Walter calculates the feasibility of longer workdays by considering the increasing logistical complexity of workers' schedules, which includes shorter breaks and less downtime. According to Dr. Walter's findings, the Tesla bot has the ability to completely transform now that we have the nuts and bolts of optimizing the Tesla bot for real-world factory operations down pat. We can see how it can rewrite the book on productivity and usher in a new age of manufacturing excellence with every shift. While dispelling myths and shedding light on possible obstacles, Dr. Walter's analysis explores the complexities of coordinating uninterrupted 24-hour operations and presents a scenario in which the bot encounters difficulties in doing so. Learning from mistakes and challenging oneself to be innovative are two of Dr. Walter's most important points. Using Dr. Walter's findings as a foundation, it becomes clear that the process of organizing looking ahead, Dr. Walter anticipates that improvements in battery technology and charging infrastructure will further expand the bot's capabilities, and that a full 24-hour workday is still in the future, all while optimizing productivity by utilizing existing BRAC schedules. As the discussion progresses, Dr. Walter's realistic perspective paves the way for future innovations. The dedication of Tesla to efficiency and simplicity is reaffirmed by Dr. Walter. The bot is prepared for deployment in the real world thanks to its sleek form and impressive lifting power. Interestingly, the topic turns to the possibility of battery exchanges, which goes against the grain of common thinking, even though Tesla has been quite outspoken about its position on the matter. A keen eye like Dr. Walters can spot promise design cues that have people wondering and speculating while changing the bot's batteries, Dr. Walter investigates an intriguing variety of approaches to meeting its power needs such as the novel idea of hot swapping and the incorporation of reserve batteries. Every strategy is carefully considered, but there are many factors to take into account when going through these possibilities, such as the costs of infrastructure construction and the complex. Design changes needed to implement these solutions. It's an enthralling adventure into the core of Tesla's technical development, where each choice could determine the trajectory of automation in the years to come. Next, Dr. Walter delves into the technical aspects of induction charging, including the obstacles it presents and how it affects the bot's overall design and performance. Dr. Walter invites viewers to explore his website, which provides a comprehensive resource for Tesla investors. He reflects on the importance of critical thinking and first principle reasoning in addressing complex engineering challenges, with a nod to future advancements in battery technology. Well, that concludes our coverage of Tesla's bot and its battery swapping solutions.
Installing swappable battery packs has been well investigated, including its potential benefits and drawbacks. Have investigated the viability of induction charging and explored various alternatives to meet the bot's power requirements. Now, we are interested in hearing your thoughts on the optimal strategy for charging Tesla's bot. Do you think battery swapping, induction charging, or another approach shows the most potential? Leave a comment with your thoughts, and if you thought the video was helpful, hit the like button. Also, to stay up to date on all the newest innovations and advancements at Tesla, subscribe to Market Talks. Mark your calendars for the upcoming episode, where we'll delve even further into the fascinating realm of Tesla and its revolutionary technologies. Thank you for tuning in. Until our paths cross again.